I thought it was solid. Today was the uh, first day kind of emphasizing the red zone and plays were made on both sides. There's a bunch to learn from too. Um, but the guys have been going. I appreciate their effort really throughout and today was another solid day. Have you scrimmaged yet? We've done some live tackling. We haven't flat out scrimmaged, but hopefully in the next couple of practices get something done there. How's your handling of that? You know, because I know a lot of coaches lately have talked about minimizing the tackling. How do you yeah. kind of approach it? We try to approach it with making sure we have great practice habits where we're getting in a posture to make a tackle, but then not going to the ground. And guys have been doing a great job of that, man, because you do. You want to stay up. You want to stay healthy. At the same time, we're going to practice this game, and that's, you know, live tackling some. And so there's a fine balance. We want to get a little bit more live done the rest of the spring. This what week, week three, so we'll practice seven. I guess have you seen where are there areas you've seen the most growth? And I know it's still early. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, I've seen some growth really across the board. I think about kind of where our secondary's at, and those guys are adapting to some new schemes, doing a good job. O line, uh, Jim does a good job of mixing a lot of guys at the O line, different spots. So um, they're learning and growing there. Uh, we've been pleased with the understanding, kind of learning the receiver group in general. Brand new offense, a lot thrown at them. They've they've handled that well and. Um, so there's been progress. Coach, uh, last week you and your staff hosted Horatio Williams and Horatio Williams Foundation, 40 plus uh, coaches from the Metro Detroit area coming out. What was it like to make that grassroots connection? And how do you think that worked for you and your coaches? And your uh, it was great having them. You know, they were here for all the practice and then they'd be able to talk some football at the end of it. Uh, that's an important group, you know, and being that close to home, to campus, and we want to make sure we're making inroads there. And that Horatio's been an awesome partner so far. Great, thank you. As far as the, I don't think we've asked you about the helmet technology. You know, oh, so yeah. Like, what's, I guess, what are you talking about the uh, yeah, being able communication? To, yeah, yeah. I'm just yep. wondering what your thoughts are on that. And especially it's been uh, a quarterback. I think they've liked it. I know uh, Lingren's liked it a lot to be able to communicate there and, uh, you know, a lot of calls and things. We haven't done a ton of it on the defensive side. We're, we're going to try to get that going in the next couple of weeks, uh, but it's beneficial. Is it something where a scrimmage setting will help too to sort of work out yeah. some kinks and how, to, yep. how you anticipate that will work? Yeah, we got to kind of work through that because. Uh, you know, we haven't just flat out done a scrimmage where it's all completely game-like. We're hopefully get some of that done here in the next few days. Is that something you can work on more in the summer, even when you're not scrimmaging and that? Like, just you know, no, you know, you're not to an extent. Practice, I mean, we do st script play, so we're on in the back. It's not like he's just talking to yeah. him the whole time. So simulating that is something we're working on each day. But a true game day atmosphere type where you know scrimmages would been will be the next step on the communication. Do you have a plan yet for what you want to do on the 20th in, in terms of either scrimmage or just kind of We practice? definitely want to you know get some work done. I uh, don't have the exact plan. Some of it, yeah. it does depend on the health. We talked about that yeah. you know, per position. Um, but we're going to look to have some fun, make it competitive, and put on a good show. There's some tight ends in the program that have been in the program for a while and haven't gotten a lot of playing time. You getting some uh, feelings and observations about some of those guys? That yeah, really, as a group, each of them have you know, different days of making some plays. Um, you know, obviously, with Belling knowing the offense a little bit, he's been out there and helping those guys come along. That's going to be a, a group, especially if you get Parachek back. Um, he hadn't been practicing, and so we feel like we got some depth there. And Nichols in there, and Masunas mm -hmm. and some others. Masunas yeah. made a couple of plays last Saturday uh, on over routes. So, yeah, we've got some guys. How much do you rely overall on the players that came with you from Oregon State and people looking at yourself to kind of help good teammates? Sa yeah, players. say it again. What the players that came with you, mm -hmm. um, how much do you kind of rely on them to help good teammates kind of with being installed? You know, uh, yeah, to an extent. I mean, we're coaches for a reason, so across mm -hmm. the board. But those three guys kind of, especially on the offensive side, I think they've been beneficial for each group. They serve as kind of interpreters between what they do. To an extent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To an extent. But I will tell you, this whole group, I've enjoyed watching them dive in. Football means a ton to them. They're wearing out in the meetings, digesting it all, going to practice. Uh, it's a fun group to coach. How much do they kind of, uh, I guess, how much do you put your philosophy in terms of teaching to them you know, up front? Do you kind of, or do you kind of wait to back end that a little bit more? Or? Well, I got some big picture f philosophical thoughts on teaching that the staff hears and then that filters down to the to the players, but we've got a big time staff. These guys know what they're doing in regards to teaching experience, been around, you know, been in the big leagues, won big games before, so I haven't had to do too much with this staff. One of the other big picture things we talked about the radio is the extension of 120 uh, roster spots. Just how do you envision that working? And obviously, as a former walk on guys, it's more opportunities for guys yeah, like that. Yeah, I think so that, yep, more, more opportunities. And again, the way this game is, the physical and reps and things, and having a, a number that you can go through summer you know, in August practice with as many as possible. With Aiden, you know, 
how you know progression in, in week three of the, how have you seen him adapting to you know just obviously yep. changes yep I think he's been solid you know the offense part hasn't been hard on him but just getting timing with those guys he's working at it um, yeah I think he's done done solid so far what's the biggest thing that you want to work on over the next you know before you get to that spring show mm -hmm. what, do, what do you want this team to do the most well we got to put him in like and get that in a, a live scrimmage situation where you have some consequence for bad plays that type of thing we still have to emphasize a couple scenarios in the game two minute uh you know got down to the goal line some short yardage we haven't gotten to yet and then you want to see progression right the the install is still more to come and how they absorb that and uh, continue to execute you notice difference between aiden childs now and maybe last August when he was brand new? What, oh, are, you, yeah. what are you seeing? I mean, it's a lot different. He's so much more comfortable. Uh, I mean, physically, he's bigger. He's about 20 pounds heavier. And so that's a that's a difference. I mean, that group in general, Tommy's been making some plays. The two young freshmen have made some plays. We feel like the that group's been working really well together. Wide receivers, any names you want to mention? Uh, you know, Gates has made some plays uh, throughout Montoria. had a couple of today. He continues to show up. Cadillac. Um, we're, we're pleased with where that, that group is progressing. Who's Cadillac? Montez Brown. Brown. Oh. I'm wondering, know you know, that. now that you've kind of had a few weeks to kind of see, where, where does the talent level of the, the group that you inherited kind of measure up to what you thought it would be from what you guys did with so much? Yeah, I don't know if I came in with a huge expectation one way or the other. Uh, pleased that the work ethic, and you're always trying to add to your talent and really be a place of development where the talent's where it's at and they continue to develop and get better, and I, I think we're on that progression. Do you have a guy like Tanner Miller who's – uh, already has the familiar familiarity with Aiden Childs and knows the offense. How much does that just aid in helping you know, other guys be able to get up to mm -hmm. speed and build that trust or core there? You know, I, I'm sure it helps. Um, you might have to ask some of those those other old linemen or Jim himself, but that group as the old line is, have been working. This is a brand new scheme. We're asking them to do some different things, and they're they're definitely working at it. How do you think you guys as a staff? have been working you know obviously people that you know and also new kids yeah. coming in how's that meshing I think about the defensive side in particular on that and I think Rossi and that crew has been working well they got some good minds in the room and so obviously Rossi has a, a system that he's been around but some nuggets and, and new things coming from other other places uh, it's gone well how do you guys uh, health wise right now are you feeling yeah, solid. Um, we haven't had an injury that's all of a sudden that a guy's done for the season to an extent. We definitely got bumps and bruises, and uh, we're being trying to be smart with that. This is spring ball, uh, but we feel solid where, where what, the team's at. Yeah, we always ask this when a new coach comes in, but what's your philosophy on talking about the injuries, like either yep. now or during the season? Like, do you talk about a guy that's out for the year or just – what we've done in the past, and this I'm not going to make promises, yeah. but, we, but if it's long term, yeah. we're going to let you know. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to get here each day and go through an injury report. Yeah. <laughs> not just not until Saturday when it. Yeah, I mean, when I mean, of course, Taylor. I mean, that's going to be a difference for you because you guys didn't have that. In the yeah, back, I right? got to still learn that on the Big Ten side what exactly the protocol is. Yeah. yeah. Got time for a couple more. So Schuster, you brought him in with some experience, expecting snapping to see well. It. Yeah. And oh, Tim, you're talking about Tommy. Yes. Yeah. And he's giving you some – he looks like an experienced guy out there? He does, man. He's poised, made some throws, uh, understand the offense, been smart with the ball, hasn't turned the thing over very much at all. Um, so we're pleased with him uh, so far. How about your running back group? I don't know if we've asked you about that. Just what's that whole group looking like? Yep, all of them getting carries, uh, and which has been great. I think Nate stood out. And, you know, he's in great shape. He knows what he's doing. He that Burgers to had some good carries. Mangum's had some good carries. Prim's coming along. Um, but we still got a ways to go there. We talked about uh, specialists last week too. I mean, how much does a coach you know, having a kicker and punter established coming in yeah. help kind of well, ease your mind? We punted today, and Eckley was dropping bombs. I mean, that guy has a big leg, uh, so we're pleased. Kind of not just him, but all that the whole group. I mean, even on the field goal side, we've done that almost every day, and our percentages makes his way up there. Um, so you know, with Kim and Eckley being veterans, I think the snappers you know helped uh, as well. That, that w last week, did you guys get them out there in that heavy wind? That, that yeah, we got one, I think, what, twice out there. We went out there today for part of practice to do the punt, and that's when Eckley yeah. was not just dropping bombs, but the, the direction of it was yeah. awesome. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, 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 guys. Coach. Appreciate